Welcome back everyone. This is your third quiz video before we go on to some more advanced topics, more like intermediate. <laughs> the first question is, what is this operator called and what does it do? The answer is that this is known as the modulus operator and it does so many magical things. <laughs> but at the foundation is it gives you the remainder of some division. So if you take five modulus three, that's like doing five divided by three and you get two left over. So the answer would be two. This can do a lot of crazy things and is actually used in a lot of algorithms out there. <laughs> when you first learn about it, it's like, well, that seems kind of useless or you might use that rarely, but it's actually a pretty cool operator. Next question is what is the difference between I++ and plus plus I? The difference is when the thing gets incremented. If we used this, it's going to use the value of I first and then it's going to add one to the value of i. If you do this, it's going to add one to the value of i first, and then it's going to use i. So this is important when you're doing this inside of a function call, for example. You wanna make sure the correct value is being passed in, so just be really careful on which one you use. Okay, next question, what does this mean? If we have j plus equals five. Well, this is actually like doing this, j equals j, plus five. It's going to add five to whatever the value of j is. Or you can think of it as going j plus plus five times. It is a shorthand and you can actually have a lot of other shorthands such as multiplication followed by an equal sign, which is going to multiply a value by some number. The next question is what is the word used to describe what order operators are executed in? So if you have multiple operators in a row for some giant expression, how do you know which one to do first? What is the term called to decide which one goes first? The answer is precedence. Different operators have higher precedence. In this situation, these operators have higher precedence than these two. Okay, next question is, what is the word used to describe if you have two operators of the same precedence which way they are evaluated, either left to right or right to left. The answer is uh, associativity, which makes a lot more sense when you just go through an example. If you had five times two divided by 10, we know that we're going to do this first and then this. But if the associativity was the other way around, it would be like this, where we do this section first and then this. Different operators have different associativity. So just to make sure you understand this, if I asked you what is the associativity of the division operator, what would you say? You would say left to right. Okay, so this one's going to be a fill in the blank. C is a blank typed language. So this is dealing with the data types. The answer here is strongly. And what that means is it's uh, really strict when it comes to data types. And every single value has to have a data type. Okay, so now let's say we want to do a little bit of IO. We wanna take some input, do some output. How do we go about doing that? And no, I'm not looking for printf and scanf, but those are related. If we wanted to use printf or scanf in our code, what do we have to do? The answer is we have to have an include statement at the top of our file. That would look like this, where this is the file allowing us to use those functions. Now, what if you wanted to use the bool data type? What would you include then? Well, the include would look like this, where this allows us to use the bool data type. All right, that's all the questions I have in this video. And as always, I just ask that you subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.